The movement itself that spread everywhere, you know. Advocating for farm workers, immigrants, and women in the United States. California, Colorado, Texas, uh, New Mexico, uh, Chicago, even in Chicago, you, know, you had people there that were especially the student movement. So we had these boycott committees everywhere. Civil rights leader Dolores Huerta worked side by side with labor leader Cesar Chavez. Cesar was uh, just brilliant. You know, he never went to college, never went to high school. He only went to the eighth grade, but he was just a genius. Together, the two founded the United Farm Workers Union, leading some of the longest boycotts and strikes in American history. We didn't always agree. Uh, sometimes we disagreed and we had these really, uh, really deep arguments, <laughs> I used to call them fights, but at the end of the day, when that was over, we would come back and say, okay, look, what are we going to do next, or how are we going to do this, you know. When they first started organizing, farm workers' rights were pretty much non-existent. Farm workers didn't have a toilet. How can you have people out there working in a field and without any water to wash your hands, soap, you know, paper? not giving them water. I mean, these are human beings. As the movement continued to grow, so did the accomplishments. And then I think that the farm worker movement was kind of an impetus uh, for the Chicano movement because uh, when the farm workers went on strike, you had a lot of young people that came and they joined the picket lines and they joined the strike. So you had this uh, whole explosion of young Latinos uh, standing up and, uh, and asking for their rights. In 1965, the strike in Delano, California was losing steam until Robert F. Kennedy joined the fight. That really put us on, on the national scene, and that really helped us also in terms of, of the boycott. Dolores says working with Kennedy meant a lot for the movement. The other thing with Senator Robert Kennedy and the same thing with Ted Kennedy, they never said, I know what's good for you. They always said, how can I help you? This entire area used to be the headquarters for the United Farm Workers Union, and Dolores Huerta actually lived here on these grounds with her family for several years. The hardships that I endured uh, working with the farm worker movement with no money uh, and raising my children in that environment, uh, they were really made us, made us a lot stronger. So we were sacrificing, but then we were getting re rewarded at the, at the same time. The mother of 11 was heavily criticized for not following a traditional family role. I was criticized very, very uh, openly and sharply uh, because of my work, my activism work. Even if people criticize you, when they do that, it's considered a blessing. A blessing that created a movement changing the lives of dozens, one that Dolores hopes people will remember and act on when needed. Well, I want people to remember that they have power, that, that they can make a difference in the world, that, that they should never ever think that somehow that they don't count. Reporting in Arvin, California, Marissa Armas, KOAT Action 7 News.